everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make this creamy thick and yummy greek yogurt from home and guess what you only need two ingredients if this is your first time stopping by hi my name is abby and you're welcome to meals with abby when i posted my first video on how to make your homemade yogurt if you haven't seen that video check the caption i got so many requests to make greek yogurt so let's start one of the things that people ask the most is measurements and in this video i'll be showing you the exact measurements first i'm going to be making my starter and for that i'm using powdered milk i used one cup of powdered milk to one and a half cup of water if you'd like to see a more detailed video on how to make your own starter, I'm going to leave the link in the card and in the description box, I have a video dedicated to that. In my previous video, I mentioned that there are two ways to make your yogurt, either with your own starter or with a store-bought yogurt. In my other yogurt recipe, I used the store-bought yogurt and you saw how it turned out. In this video, I'm going to be using my own starter. I'm doing this just so you can see the two options and choose whichever works best for you. Now that the milk has reached the right temperature, we're going to pour this into a bowl and then I'm going to be adding my lemon. There are two methods on how to make your starter. If you haven't seen that video, check the cards or the description box. You're going to place this in a warm place, a warm dark area and we're going to leave it for about 12 hours. It's important that I tell you guys that after 12 hours, my culture or my starter still had not formed. So I had to leave it for another 8 to 9 hours. And after 20 hours of putting this in a warm dark place, this is what we have. And guys, we have our culture. I'm going to take out the lemon and this is what we have. A thick, nice looking culture. Now, let me state that if you're going to be using the other method, which is the chili, you might have a bit of, you know, this funny spicy taste so i would advise that you make your yogurt in two batches use this culture to make your first yogurt and then now use the yogurt to make another yogurt so that you can eliminate all of that taste now that our culture is ready it's time to make the yogurt proper for this i'm going to be using liquid milk and i'm using this dano uht full cream milk that has 3.5 percent fat now you're going to put your pot on heat and for the purpose of this video i'm going to be measuring how many cups i got from this one liter of milk just so that you have the correct measurement i got five cups of milk from this one liter so that means for this recipe, I'm using five cups of milk. Once the milk is on heat, you want to continuously stir this until it comes to a boil. We want this to heat up, but we do not want it to overboil. Overboiling your milk is not going to give you the best outcome for your yogurt. So do not leave this unattended to, guys. Do not leave it unattended to. So keep mixing. And once you begin to see those bubbles form at the top, it is time to turn off your heat. Once you turn off the heat, you're going to allow this to cool down for a bit. You don't want it to get too cold, so you're going to leave it for about 3 to 5 minutes. Afterwards, you're going to see this cloth form at the top. Take out the cloth. To check the temperature, place the milk at the back of your palm. If it's not too cold, nor too hot, then it is just right. Now, you're going to take your culture, add some milk into your bowl of culture, give this a really good mix, dissolve it properly, and then pour it back into your pot of milk. Now you want to ensure that this is dissolved properly then you cover and place in a very warm and dark place the warmest and darkest place in my kitchen is my oven i'll place this in the oven for about 12 to 15 hours and then afterwards this is what we have for our yogurt if you like to add sweet now you can go ahead to add some sugar into your yogurt in my previous video i did not add any sweetener and you guys were asking how to sweeten your yogurt so add your sugar add your honey add your date whatever sweetener you want to use now we have our liquidy natural runny yogurt but this is not the aim of this video if you want a natural yogurt check my previous video for the greek yogurt you're going to need a bowl and a cheesecloth the cheesecloth is going to help take out all the excess liquid and then you achieve 
your greek yogurt so take the cheesecloth put it in a bowl and then you're going to add all your yogurt inside now you also need anything that can help you hold the cheesecloth in a place that is going to drain out all the water for this i'm using this wooden spoon that i have you can also place this on a sieve and then just ensure that the cheesecloth doesn't come in contact with the water that's how to separate it so i tied it and i'm going to leave this for about three to four hours After four hours, this is what we have. There is enough liquid in that bowl. So I'm going to just release the cheesecloth from the wooden spoon. And this is what we have. This is what this you got is looking like. For me, this is a bit thick. So that water that you got from the yogurt, please do not discard it. I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of that water just to make my yogurt less thick. And this is what we have. It is not too thick and it looks good however the texture of this is not really appealing so i'm going to be using my immersion or my hand blender just to run through it you can also use your normal blender but do not blend for too long so it doesn't become liquidy again and after using my hand blender just to smoothen it out this is what we have guys your creamy lovely yummy greek yogurt can you see how easy it is so basically greek yogurt is just your normal yogurt that you strained and you took out all the excess water i'll be showing you guys a bonus recipe and that's how to make flavored yogurt so i have my yogurt in a bowl i'm going to be adding some strawberry flavor and then i'll give this a really good mix this is going to give it a pink nice looking color and strawberry flavor you can use any flavor that you want so in a cup i added my strawberry yogurt going in with some granola topping with some honey and then i'll go with my plain greek yogurt can you guys see how thick and creamy this yogurt is hmm go ahead to add some extra granola and honey and our parfait is ready you guys i hope you found this video really helpful and very informative if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get notified when i post new videos share this video like this video drop a comment and all that good stuff thank you for watching bye